You're new to 3D printing and you want your 3D prints to pop with color. In this video, we're gonna go over exactly how to add different colors to each layer of your print right in your slicer. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so first things first, we have to take our object that we wanna print and go ahead and get it exported as an STL and get it into our slicer. So I have this object right here. It is my little cat color that I'm making for my fat little sneaky cat. I am going to highlight it and then go to export right here and go ahead and export it as an STL. From here, we are now going to go right into Bamboo Labs Slicer. And now we have made it into Bamboo Lab Slicer. We can zoom in. You can even see the have both objects right here. And if I click on it, it still says it is one. So what I'm gonna do over here is click split to objects. And then with that, I click off of it. And now you can see they have changed into two separate objects. And if I go over here, click off global, you can see I have two objects over here as well. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on my color painting tool and I can now choose between all the colors I have in my AMS and the different types of tools I wanna use to paint. I can click on sphere, use, uh, sorry, circle, sphere, triangle, layer height, or fill. And with this, I'm gonna keep it on layer height and I'm gonna keep it on white. And I'm gonna zoom in right here, get those out of my way. And I'm gonna click just on the very top layer of my collar. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna left click and keep that left click all the way down as I go down the entire collar. And now I've made the entire base plate of this white. And then from here, I can then zoom in a little bit or get make sure I get this at a good angle. And I can now change all the layers of this oogie to black. Oop, went a little too deep. And then right there, perfect. But now you can see I've got that one layer of oogie that is still white. So click on it, bring it down to black and then perfect. We have Oogie is black, the base color of this is white, and I can even change this to red if I wanted to because I'm going by layer, so I can make the very top layer red, and I can keep the infill and the base of the Oogie name black. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to keep it just black, make it nice, clean, smooth, and simple. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click out of this paint, and I've got one more thing to make this super efficient in printing. If I went ahead and click slice plate right now, you would see that it's gonna take 22 minutes and 29 seconds and about five and a quarter grams of filament. I think we can beat that with one simple change. That change is gonna come over here in others. I'm going to go over to where it is got its, let's see, right, oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong section. If I go to global and then others, if I go all the way down to print sequence right here, and I click instead of by layer, by object. Now, if I go back to my objects, you can see that I'm printing based on one of these other objects. So if I click here, I'm printing object one, and then once object one finishes, it will go to object two. Just by doing that, if I click slice plate, it is now gonna take 13 minutes and 47 seconds. Six minutes faster and then almost a gram less of filament or half a gram less of filament. So it's gonna speed up the process a lot more and make it a lot more efficient. And now with that extra time, I can even improve it just a tad bit, I think, by changing the quality of print one. Instead of having it at 0.16 millimeters, I can do it at 0.2 or maybe even 0.24 because I don't need it to look crazy super nice but I'm gonna leave it at 0.2. And then what I can do is I can click on object two where I want this to look super nice, leave it at 0.16 millimeters, go down, and then I can even go to ironing and do the top most surface. So I'm actually just ironing out the layer, uh, the top layer on my letters right here. And if I click slice plate, yeah, I've increased the time just a little bit by about 25, 30 seconds, but I haven't changed the total cost. And now this print is elevated that little bit more with no extra time really being added. So if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you would like to learn next, and I will see you guys in the next one.